Okay, so uh, we are still having this error here. So let me test it out. And we get please enter a valid category name and I will say okay. But at least one thing we know for sure is that in our categories.php, we don't need to alert us to the result here because we're not getting any more syntax errors. So we can remove that so that we only get, when I click here, we only get a uh, that error from, oh, actually, no, we're still getting that. So let me refresh say food and say so that we're, we're just getting this clean error not the json data so please enter a valid category name now it occurred to me that the reason we're having this problem is we did indeed have an error here where we had to add a plus and by the way put back the dollar sign there now if you have you are going to have category names where the, where there's a space you need to have multiple words so you can put a space there so just put a space there anywhere in here, even in between these two, you can put a space, so that's fine. So it seems this looks fine here because if I try to var dump this, let me just copy this whole thing to see what result I will get here. I will say var dump. Now the reason I'm using var dump is because it shows me the data type because if I use uh, echo or something like that and the result is false, it's going to show something empty. But var dump will tell me that it's actually a Boolean and it's true or false. So here, let me try one more time and see what I get. Oh, I get that unexpected uh, thing. So let me undo the alert here for a second to demonstrate the point. Refresh come back food and then hit save now as you can see here i'm seeing a boolean of false which is being echoed before we send the json data so that false means if i come back here let me remove that alert now i won't need it anymore now what false means uh where is this in here it means it shouldn't go through here because the result of this is now false which is exactly what we want. So, but then we're still getting that same error. Now, remember that a session variable lasts for as long as the session lasts. So that very first time that we created the error, it's still there. So all we need to do is unset this error here. So let me come back to the Ajax controller. So right here where we are, we know that the error is not empty here. Okay, so right here where we are using the error because now we've passed the error into the message. So what we can do is completely unset or we can just say session error is equal to empty string like so. Now this gives me uh, another issue where it will be possible that sometimes the let's go to category class uh, sometimes this will not be set right session error so we're just going to say if is set like that and is equal to empty right so if it is not set we're just going to oh wait a minute this is um, Okay, so if the error is not set, it means we we didn't get an error. So we'll say not here. If error is not set or if the error is not set or the error is empty, then we pass through here. Okay, that should sort the problem out. So now when I come back to ajax.php, I have to make sure that I set it to empty or I completely unset it. Right. Okay, I think uh, that ought to solve the problem. So let's come back here, but it won't solve it the first time because we will need that reset thing going on. So do that. And then now let me refresh. I don't expect any errors this time. So I'll say add and I'll put food 
and hit save category added successfully oh thank you very much let's go to our database and see that so there we go we have one category of food but it would be a good idea to actually read from the database and uh, give me that list of items that are actually there so that we can see it here right so what i will do is go back to the categories.php here let's see how we can go about doing that now when we come to the table itself we have table head which ends there and then we have table body which ends uh, conveniently here now as you can see in here there's a single row so what we could do here is simply add an id to the table body so that we can uh, get it you can add a an id or you can add a class so both of those can be used to uh, refer to it so i would just say uh, table body like that table underscore body so you can give it any name that you want uh, that's fine so let me copy that so let's come back here to handle result here and then at this point if i come back to the ajax i will see that there's data there which will be used to bring some to bring back some data so if i come back to my javascript here i will simply say once we alert the message right so info is here here it's error so once we get info it means everything went well so let's do a refresh after we close that thing so what i can say instead of having to actually because we're just grabbing one item here so i think it's gonna work just fine so say ver table is equal to document dot query selector and then in query selector because we are selecting a uh, an id we'll use the hash symbol like that and then i'm just going to say table now remember that's the that's not the whole table that's just the table uh body that's what we named that so maybe just to be more explicit about this table body underscore table body so that you don't get confused next time dot inner html right is equal to so right here we'll get the object data i will put that object data like that okay so table object data uh -huh. that's good now let's come back to the same ajax and see what we can do here okay so category now what do we set the data to right we have to set it to something so at this point what i will do is go back to my uh, category class and in here because we have several functions let's create one more function that will read from the database so function uh this is for categories i would just say get all if you want to get all categories there you can just do that so we won't need to put any data there we're just getting all of the categories there so that's one function there so what i will do here is copy the db thingy here let me close that gap there so once we have our database all i need to do now is say data is equal to um, db read sorry i need an arrow there db read but uh, instead of creating a query there we can just put the query in here since it's short we'll say select or from categories and that's it there so select all from categories that's all and then now if we check uh where is this what i'll just say here is return 
the data. Now, what I could do is just say return right there. Return db read, something like that. The result of that. So simple enough, we get all. So let me come back to my uh, Ajax here, right there. So what I would say is, I'll say data. Now let me make sure I'm not using, okay, so I'm reusing an, uh, an existing one there. So let's just say cats like that. Cats is equal to, and then I will use category the same way I did this here. And just close there. Instead of create, I will say get all. So it can read all of them. So now get all. And then at this point, I will simply ask the question if is array cats. Meaning we got a good result there. So if this is an array, what we will do is for each, we'll go through each item, cats as, a, what do I say here, cat row. So that's short for category row. Okay, so this is one row of the category. So let's create a table looking thingy here. Now what we could do here is we could have another uh, function that generates a table from um, from this so that we don't have to put all this stuff here. So what I will do is I will do this here, then we're going to move it to a, a function. So what I'll say is cuts is a good cut row. And then I will just echo a row here because we're going row by row. So each time we move through here, uh, that is a row that we are getting. So I'll say echo, uh, table row like this and i will close that table row there let's move things a little and then let's put another for each so that we go through that row one column at a time and then that is cut row that's what i'll say here as value so what value do we have here so here I will say echo. So I will echo here the uh, table data like that. And then closing table data like that. Uh -huh. Okay, goody. Now the thing is, uh, if we go back to category.php, we actually have this table here, which is uh, this one right there. 